All right, next up, I've got a really fun demo for you. We're going to talk about how you can use ChatGPT to automate tasks in Excel by generating VBA scripts and macros. So for this demo, what I've got here is a list of some of the top earning movies of all time. It's stored in a macro enabled Excel workbook, but you can see that it's a little bit messy, right? My row heights are all over the place. My column widths aren't fit properly. And basically my goal is to clean and polish this up, maybe add some alternating row highlights with the goal of exporting this as a static PDF that I can share. Now that's certainly possible to do manually, it would just take a few steps, but if this is something that I'm gonna do again and again, it makes it a great candidate for VBA automation. So let's pop into ChatGPT, let's describe exactly what we're looking for and see if it can produce a VBA script that we can use. All right, so let's go ahead and plug in a description of what we're looking for. Be very descriptive and clear here, right? I have an Excel worksheet named Top Movies containing a table with the following fields, title, genre, country, rating, IMDb score, and gross revenue. Can you please generate a VBA script to auto fit all rows and columns, bold the first row, highlight every other row, and save it to my desktop using this file path as a PDF? And because I'm not really strong with VBA, I've also asked it to provide clear step-by-step -step instructions. So let's see how this goes. All right, so far so good. It says I can help you with that. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to creating a VBA script that will do all of those steps that we described. It's writing the script now. You can see some comments in here. Really nice that it's commenting the code, making it nice and clear. And then it's giving us kind of all of those steps that we'll need to follow. This is looking good so far. So basically we're creating a subroutine, export as PDF. We're setting variable names for the worksheet and the string. This is where we're auto fitting the rows and columns. This is where we're formatting the table with those kind of highlights every other row. This is where we're saving it as a PDF. You can see that it's used the file path. It's named it topmovies.pdf, which makes sense. And then this is really nice too. At the end, it's popping up a message box that's going to say worksheet saved as PDF on the desktop, which is a nice touch as well. So this is looking great. Let's go ahead and copy this code and let's jump back into our Excel workbook. And we can either use F11 or head to our developer tab to open up the VBA dialog box or window right here. And right here in sheet two, top movies. Let's go ahead and view the code and paste that code that ChatGPT produced right here. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. I don't think I need to necessarily change anything here, at least right off the bat. So let's go ahead and save that, close the editor. And now it's a nice little touch. What I'm gonna do is insert a little box here, kind of like a button that we can use, add some text, export as PDF. And we'll format that a little bit like so. And then I can right click we're going to assign a macro, and that's the subroutine or the macro that ChatGPT just produced. Export as PDF, press OK, and now drum roll please. If I click this button, what we should see again is the columns and rows auto fit. We should see every other row get highlighted. We should see that top header row get formatted in bold. And most importantly, it should export that data set as a static PDF on my desktop. So cross your fingers, let's give it a click. There we go, we get that message box. It says worksheet saved as PDF on the desktop. We can see right here, the columns did auto fit, the rows auto fit, header row is bold. We've got that alternating highlighting. So far so good. Now let's go ahead and check our desktop. And look at this, we've got a PDF called Top Movies. And when we double click, there is our formatted data set that ChatGPT helped us produce. So overall, I was really, really impressed by this example, especially as someone who doesn't have a ton of experience writing VBA code. This probably would have taken me closer to 20 or 30 minutes of trial and error or searching online tutorials to produce this same code, but ChatGPT gave it to us in about 30 seconds, which is pretty unbelievable when you think about it. I love that it added code comments. I love that it included the file path. It was nice that it added those clear step-by-step -step instructions. Just a great shortcut, especially for non-coders who come across the need to use VBA for automation. Hey there, if you like this video and you wanna learn more, check out our brand new free course, ChatGPT for Data Analytics. 
You can find it at mavenanalytics.io. We'll walk you through our best practices and some of the most interesting use cases for tools like Excel, Google Sheets, Power BI, SQL, and Python. It's a fun little course, and it's a great way to get up to speed in these new AI tools. I hope you'll check it out and let us know what you think.